all right so as you can see uh, already created the file setup so let's go through it just start with the simple sources yeah we are going to use three film effects simple source so let's start with the first one just select simple source go to modify panel and change the shape make it sphere and type solid then change the diameter make it 23 or which is whatever suits you then go to fuel here you can see that we have to use animated fuel like after certain frames we have to turn it off so just go to frame 15 add one keyframe and on frame 20 make it zero all right so we can we cannot see any fuel or smoke after frame 20 so go to frame go to smoke and just disable it because we are going to use fire create smoke option in fuel container so yes that's it so let's go to velocity make some changes on it like objects velocity direction velocity and radial velocity all right so these are some changes in few effects simple source one then go select second simple source and change the shape make it cylinder and diameter and height make it 23 23 and same process for fuel just animated fuel then disable the smoke and change the velocity make it 20 objects directional 7 radial 5 that's it now select third source again change the diameter and height then fuel smoke and velocity yeah we are going to use different velocity for different sources so these are some minor changes in simple sources now let's go to our fuel container so just select it then go to objects and source and add our three simple sources into object tab by clicking pick object button then move it to general section here we are going to change in make changes in general parameters like width length height and spacing then set the output and playback range make it 0 to 150 and exporting channel keep it as it is like fuel and smoke and set the output path then let's go to simulation section here you can see quality iterations so just increase the quality make it 7 then reduce the iteration <coughs> sorry reduce the iteration make it 100 then go to systems here you can see gravity vorticity just reduce the gravity make it 0 0.5 and vorticity 1 then go to turbulence here we are going to animate this turbulence same as the fuel just turn on the auto key and add a creep keyframe in on frame 13 from 0 to 13 our turbulence value will be 2 but uh, frame 15 it will reduce to 0 0.1 all right then go to turbulence noise here you can reduce the scale like 1 then reduce the frames make it 5 and just increase the details because this section is for internal motion of the smoke or fire all right now I'll move to blocking sides just go to z axis and select both because we are going to because we are we want that uh, smoke and fire should be interact with the container so that's why we turn it on then let's go to fuel here you can see we reduce the burn rate like 15 then increase the expansion to 3 yeah, so let's see the fuel create smoke yeah this is the option why because we just disable this simple source smoke option all right so just turn it on and increase the smoke density make it 10 
then smoke and temperature parameters keep it as it is because we are not going to change anything in this section so let's move ahead to simulation so just check the output path and hit the simulation button all right then move ahead to rendering parameters all right here we are going to assign some colors on fire and smoke so just go to fire and then click on fire color button and add some gradient on it like yellow to red red to black so let's see the rg value of our uh, color yeah you can see this orange shade and you can see the rg value as well then our second button which is you can see the red color and this is the rg value of this color and this is our definitely black and black all right now let's move it to smoke color click on the smoke color button and set set it dark gray and just reduce the opacity and turn on the cast shadow and receive shadows so these are minor changes in rendering but uh, before move ahead to illumination let's set the lights as you can see we are going to use three lights two omni and one spotlight so let's go to first omni and just go to modify panel and turn on the shadow then change the multiplier and color and just turn on the atmosphere shadow again go to second omni just turn on the shadow change the multiplier and turn on the atmosphere shadow now select the spotlight change the multiplier it's the same process yeah but uh, we miss one thing just see the position of all lights like first omni the position of position in x y and z axis then second omni and target spot yeah so this is the file setup now go back to our container and illumination section just add these lights into light step by clicking pick lights all right now turn on the multiple scattering because we want that fire illumination on smoke or any object so just turn it on and make some changes in depth fire and smoke strength then fall off so this is the max setup view of x setup so it's time to render this explosion so press f10 then set the output range and our resolution all right now set the render output path and go to render element button sorry render element section here we are going to set the layers like fumfx fire and fumfx smoke by clicking add button just fumfx fire and smoke and hit ok all right now just hit a render button so we will get our fire and smoke layers separately now it's time to compose this these layers in after effects so open after effects all right so import these layers and add some effects on it so let's start with the fire add color balance sharpen and some sapphire glow on it so you can see the parameters of color balance like shadows mid tone and highlight then sharpen amount and glow parameters all right now let's see the smoke effect here you can see two effects like sharpen and brightness and contrast yeah, so these are some minor changes in after effects so let's see the final output yeah that's perfect i hope you like it <laughs> So thanks for watching this tutorial 
we will meet soon with another exciting tutorial till then thank you